Oh man, I was looking at Stan and Rock and these policemen. They had dislocated this guy's arm. They're saying there was blood on him. And then they put a sack over his head. When the uh, journalist tried to explain to him that that is like really, you know, you're you're going against all, you know, human rights. You're talking about us. Oh well, it's it's a it's a common spit thing. Well, these policemen had on enough clothes. They had helmets with visors, gloves, and all these clothes on. They probably could um, live through a nuclear blast. So, you know, it, 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 but the, the idea that somebody could justify their action of such violence and such disregard for any respect for human life and nature and, you know, uh, uh, think that there's a way of justifying it, think it's funny. I mean, they had about, like, about 12 cops surrounding this guy. One guy. Can you imagine if we really do have an attack, especially with Trump now getting ready to be the president, and nobody likes him? Uh, 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 China don't like Nobody else likes him because they can't respect a man that, that you know, that the, you know because of uh, uh, the words that come out of his mouth. You know? Uh, uh, they, and these, these people in these other countries, they know how to be diplomatic. They know how to smile in your face, whatever. But our police force is in such... You know, I don't know why our school system was destroyed. I don't know why we feed our kids that, that you do. But with our school system dummy down, and as it ha as it's been like stated in so many uh, uh, different journals and, and evaluations of the school system, bet uh, between the food, the kids' obesity, diabetes, them taking uh, music and the arts out of the school, we now have a, a society where that it will project, you know, I mean, especially white people that even think that they have uh, 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 some right to continue to, 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 to punish these American Indians and torture them because they was here first and because uh, of, uh, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Look, capitalists, you can look at any place in the world where there's capitalists. It has devastated their economy. Look at Africa. Look at India. You know, wherever there is. It, 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 look at South America. You know, it has not been, even even communists has not been the ideal thing for people. You want to go back to an idea of society, you have to probably go all the way back to Alexander. But um, the idea that our plan for policing, and then the thing that, they really use a lot of propaganda to market to the children to be friendly with police. Like, I see these kids over here, my new neighbors uh, across the street. She was like, you know, like, I, I know they went and got their free Halloween candy from the police. And the police, in one of the videos, were showing, oh, we want to love the police. And then, like, the police, again, after they had a march against violence and police shooting, they, like, they took one of, like, the supposedly leaders of it and took them like for a video game to play where like you know you get shot and get shot and they're like oh now you see where the policeman is so their mentality is that life is a game and that you know like to show how we are against shooting by showing him a video where he's shooting you know like the whole thing is so ignorant and I think that we really do need to save our school because that's why we have a Trump in office you know, and that's why we have what's going on in Standing Rock. Because we all have to drink water. I don't care if, if even if, I think it's no longer classified that corporations and companies come before the people because, you know, the way the society is structured, right? So we know that that is like the main objective, you know. But if you see, I see that's already been breached by sending our jobs overseas. So anything else that we're doing now is causing the more failure of our democracy, more failure uh, 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 of our human rights and our constitutional rights that are ever evident in our privatizing the uh, 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 um, the prisons as we as we uh, poison our children with just so much sugar retreats uh, and a lot of uh, saturated fats, uh, um, and a lot of it is we you know the companies are selling us. Our, our food. That's why we have these massive schools. We don't grow our own 
veggies or anymore. So I, I challenge these churches, if you're all about, you know, really helping society, you know, maybe y'all should start Victory Gardens. I, I challenge these um, so-called uh, rappers and R&B singers and, and actresses that are all, uh, you know, like for Greenpeace and everything to go out there and fund maybe after-school program where they're growing food. You know, maybe we could tell the schools, like, look, if we grow our, our, our own food, you know, even maybe have um, the 4-H club involved in having some chicken and small livestock and, and go through the whole process, you know, maybe even having um, dissect bring it back to high school to where maybe, uh, you know, like uh, um, they might, you know, flay fish or something on that scale and grow their own, have a fishery in the school where they, they get to learn about water, maybe learn about uh, uh, the power of water, and maybe even, you know, steam, heat their school, and use a steam engine to, to you know, stuff like that, renewable type of free food, uh, fuel, because uh, standing, uh, after Standing Rock's pipeline goes through there, and um, we're going to have to figure out a way to... Um, to get water because we're not going to no longer have any fresh drinking water in the United States. You know, and um, if we had better schools and better educate, we wouldn't have police. That would be it, it, so disgusting. It's humiliating and embarrassing that it's going all, worldwide and that we have uh, such disgusting behavior from a um, law officer such a double biting hypocrite to act like they're really there to protect you as they point guns at people. Guns is not a way to protect anybody, I promise. Neither is dislocating them. And, and that's some bullshit. You know, you don't put a sack over somebody's head. You, re you worry about spit, you know what I'm saying? Then you have the right equipment on to protect you, your eyes and on your whole body. So, you know, and they have the, like, they, you, you have the right equipment, so... You know, if you want to believe your bullshit lie, then that just proves to me how badly we really do need a major change in the United States, never a revolution, because we just got a coup taken over by China and Russia in our politics, because look who we have there. 